Hey guys, Matt of LFD Research. Just giving you a little look behind the scenes because you don't see all the projects we work on. And so we're taking you on a trip while we're doing a little failure analysis of this Savage 1907 and 32 ACP. Now this does have a rotating barrel. You'll notice it if you look at where the extractor should be on that lug. You'll see it move a little bit, but as you see there, the gun jammed. Kind of hard to get good high speed of the gun operating when we're having a jam. So let's slow this down a bit and actually take a look at what the failure is. So, we've got the gun firing. You can see the... Oh, there we go. There is nothing holding on to that case. The only reason it extracted from the barrel whatsoever is all the pressure pushing back caused the extraction, but there's nothing to hold on it and to have the ejector kick against. So it just rattled around inside there. Now let's take a look at another shot. This first playback is going to be 30 frames per second of what we recorded at, and then we'll slow back the playback 25%. As you see, it's rattling around in there, but this one got out. So let's slow it down and take a look at why it got out. Now, if you watch the extractor cut, you will actually watch and see the barrel rotate. There you go. Now, look at that rattle around in there, but you'll notice it's kind of coming towards the ejection port, and the next round coming up just kind of kicked it enough off to the side that it was able to kick itself out of the gun and load the next round. This is why you don't see many modern guns that don't have an extractor of some sort because you have no control. Now, if there was a more open ejection port, there is a possibility that maybe this gun would be more reliable even without a working extractor. But as of right now, it's pretty much unreliable. So let's take a look at one more shot to see how this fails because they all three fail slightly differently. All right, now let's slow this down and take a look at it again. Now this one is the last one in the magazine, so it has nothing below it to kick it out. It was mostly coming out, and then you can see here it got caught probably on the rear of the magazine and just did not come out. There was nothing coming up to push it out other than the follower, which was pretty much all the way up because it'd be at rest after the round already came out. Of the so we're going to, of course, fix this gun and get it back to working, but just thought you'd like to see kind of the stuff we look at and deal with that doesn't make it to YouTube.